Dear Lord, you are such an amazing and loving God. You sent your own Son, Jesus, to redeem us. In your word, you assure us at a confidence to approach you. I need your help. My family struggles to love one another. Will you help my dad? He does not know you. I see the suffering and the pain that he endures. He works in the office from morning to night. He's exhausted, frustrated, and angry. My mom and dad argue all the time. He's becoming more and more violent. Is there any hope left? I just wish you would know of your saving love. Every day I come home and see our mom in the kitchen, slaving away with food on the table for us. But dad never comes home to eat, and Rebecca doesn't seem to want to spend time with us. I feel bad for our mom because she's doing all that she can. I know that she prays for us and that she tries to lean on you, but things seem so hopeless for her, and she's beginning to doubt your will. I've watched her go through this for the past three years, but why haven't I seen you encourage her? I know that you're listening, and I know that you're there. Forgive me for being impatient, but what are you waiting for? I just can't wait to see how you will heal my broken family. I also lift up Rebecca to you. I know that she wants to be closer to you, but she's struggling right now. Please God, won't you become more real to her? I know that she's finding happiness in other things, but show her that she can find true joy in you. Let her know how much you love her, and that that love is greater than anything else she can find in this world. Dear God, God, I know that I haven't talked to you in a while. There's been so much junk in my life, so many things competing for my attention. I'm sorry that I've been brushing you aside. I pray that you would forgive me for my selfishness. And right now, I lift up my brother to you. Seeing him like this, I should be mad at you, but I'm not. I'm not because I know that even now, he's still trusting in you. My brother always told me that you work for the good of those who love you. So I have to believe that something good will come out of this. Give me the faith to believe in you. Bring me back into your arms. I know I haven't been the most faithful to you. Even though I pray, you know that there are empty prayers. But now I'm in desperate need for your help and guidance. I see how hard my children pray. I'm amazed by their childlike faith. Worrying for this family has muddled my priorities, and I have lost focus of you. God, I sit here before you, totally helpless, surrendering to you. But Lord, amidst this crisis, I lay my life down before you, because I know that only you can heal me. I 
I don't really know how to do this, but I've got to try. Dear God, I do not know if you can even hear me, but if you do, would you please give me my son back? I can't believe this happened. Of all things, it was all my fault. I haven't been home for my family. I've been bitter with work, family, and just life, and because of this, I took it out on them. I didn't sign up to live this life of unhappiness. God, I know I do not deserve your love, but would you please fix this family? Please, I'm desperate. I can't do this anymore. I see that my son and daughters are different, and it's because of you. I guess I just want to know you, God, in the same way they do. Would you answer this prayer? Dear God, whoa, I don't know what's going on, but I just wanted to thank you for bringing my family closer to you and closer to each other. Throughout the past few years, I have tried time and time again to do everything through my own power. When things didn't work out, I questioned your presence in my life. But now I realize that it is only through your grace and your might that all things are possible that you are a sovereign God. Lord, thank you for always listening to my prayers. How great is your faithfulness, O oh God. I put my family in your hands, and I know that by your will, you will continue healing their hearts. I love you, Lord, and it is in your precious name that I pray all of these things. Amen. God, you 